Hi everybody, this is Brian James at Rhino3D.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to model and render a simple glass using Rhino 6 for Windows. To start I'll make a new file and I'll choose the small objects inches template. And Then in the solid tools I'll grab cylinder from the sidebar. The command line asks for the base of the cylinder and I'll use zero for that. For the diameter of that base I'll use three inches and for the other end of the cylinder I'll use six inches. I'll maximize the perspective view and switch it to use the shaded display mode. If I left click the cylinder I'll naturally select the whole thing but I want to select just this top face so I'll hold down control and shift and left click. I have the gumball enabled which is that manipulator you see and if I mouse over this two axis translation handle on the gumball I can hold down shift and click and drag to scale in just X and Y. So I've made this slight cone and I want to shell it I'll use the shell command also in the solid tools. The shell command has one option which is thickness and I'll set that to point two and then I'll select the top face which I want to remove and press enter. I'll go into ghosted mode and sub object select this bottom interior face. Control, shift, click. And I'll drag it up with the gumball in the Z axis. And that'll give our glass a thicker base. Next I want to round these hard edges on the lip of the glass, but I don't need to add actual fillets to the surface geometry just yet. Instead, I'll select the glass and in the properties panel, I'll use this object modifier edge softening. I'll turn that on and this rounds just the shading information for the model. Next I'll go into the display panel here and switch to a new display mode in Rhino called Ray Traced. And Ray Traced mode will render the model directly in the viewport. I want to add a glass material to the model so I'll right click any one of the panel names and choose materials and that will dock the materials panel in this same group. There's a plus symbol to create a new material and you can import it from the V6 material library or you can use a template which I'll do now. I'll use glass and then left click and drag to assign that material. I want to add some liquid to the inside of the glass so I'll start by making a box and then cutting that box where it intersects the glass. I'll use the box command use the center option for the box and type 0 and enter to make a box that's larger than the glass. Then I'll use the command boolean difference to cut the box with the glass and I'll have delete input equals no for that last step. Then I'll select the outer part of the box and delete that which leaves just the part that was on the inside. Now you'll notice something because we are in ray traced mode which is rendering the model. We get these streaks or thin triangles and that is a coincidence artifact. The solid that represents the liquid is in the same spot as the interior wall of the glass. And this is a common rendering artifact that you'll see with transparent materials. To fix it, you can just mouse over one of the scale handles, these little boxes on the gumball, hold down the shift key, and just scale the liquid volume slightly so that it penetrates the wall of the glass. And that takes care of that and the refraction looks correct. The last step I'll do here is to select that interior liquid volume, create a new custom material, right click its swatch and choose assign to objects, and make it 100% transparent. This makes it go away entirely because the index of refraction, this IOR field, is set to 1, which is air. If you right click that, you can pick from a big list with the three most common selected ones at the top. So I'll pick water, which is an IOR of 1.33. And there you go. If you want to save this image to a file or to the Windows clipboard, you can use the display toolbar and this icon here to capture the view to a file or to the clipboard. And that's how to model and render a simple glass using Rhino 6 for Windows. Thanks for watching.